Hey guys, so I was just on Reddit and then just found this interesting read about the Bacardigans. So, here we go. Okay, so, basically we have Austin, Tasha, Pablo, Unico, and Tyrone are the Bacardigans, as we have already established. And according to Nick Jr., Pablo and Tyrone are best friends. Uniqua and Tasha are best friends. And Austin recently moved into the neighborhood. Now, with that in mind, let's just get on with the fury, okay? So here's a fun fury about the Bacardian. So we have Pablo, Tyrone, and Austin. Sorry, Pablo, Tyrone, and Uniqua. They all appear in every episode of season one. Austin also appears in the first episodes. So that's the... That's the heart of the jungle and pirate treasure. But Tasha appears in neither of the episodes. So let's just say she's sick, okay? Or she's not. She wanna visit somebody. Alright. Now Austin spends these two episodes getting to know the other favorite. So in Pirate Treasure he forms a tree in Pirate Treasure, Pablo and Tyrone form the duo, right? You know, that's best friends, right? And then we have Unique who is paired up with Austin. And then in the Heart of the Jungle, Austin is part of the, he joins the two, the duo, to form a trio. And then Unique is on her own. So, Austin hasn't, like, moved into his new house yet. So, like, he goes back to his old house to, like, get his stuff together. And then while he's not there, Tasha comes in and she joins the rest of them in the AT and Snowfort. But unlike them, she hasn't gotten to know Austin yet, okay? So So apparently Tasha hasn't fully recovered and being in the frozen off for like the past two days hadn't helped her. Cause like that's like two snowy invo- snowy involved episodes back to back. So she stayed inside again during the secret mission. She finally fully recovers in It's Great to Be a, a Ghost, but then she went outside Pablo, Tyron, and Unico, who were already halfway through their game. So it's like this was the first time someone had joined the imagination session who hadn't been there from the beginning, but they liked it so much that they made it much more common in the later seasons. Okay, so that's just like a a theory that's like so interesting. Next we have Riding the Range, which is one of the few episodes to mention a character who doesn't appear. So that's like, in this case, Old Man Winston. It's possible that Tyron misremembered Austin's name as Win- Winston. Or Winston was a boy that lived in Austin's house before moving out of him. And finally, in the key to the Nile, Austin came back to the house where he lived for the rest of the series, okay? So, it was then that he met Tasha for the first time. But in that episode, Tasha is playing a bossy princess, and Austin was one of her servants. That experience made Austin hate Tasha. <laughs> oh my days, this is, this really is so funny. Tasha now tries to make up for it in Nights of Brave and Strong. By playing a more benevolent queen while Austin is playing the king. Hmm, interesting. But that didn't work because Tasha only appeared at the beginning and Austin only appeared at the end. Meaning they didn't interact with each other at all. So now Tasha hated Austin back. <laughs> uh, this is so funny. Several episodes came and went, each with only one of Tasha and Austin. In fact, the reason why Austin was so shy in Castaways was because he was being cautious that Tasha wasn't there. But then came Rachel and the World, which changed everything. Once a year, the Bacardigans have a race of some sort. This is why each season of the show has one racing episode. So we have Rachel and the World, we also have Austin Around, the Great Dolphin Race, and the Magic Skateboard. Okay? In the years before Austin came to the neighborhood, Pablo had won the Hulu's race, Tyrone had won the snowboarding race, Unico had won a kayaking race, 
and Austin had all of these races and wanted to compete in the next one. But guess who the referee was for this year's race? <laughs> Tasha. Okay, so we're going to finish this chapter here. We're going to end this one here and then we're going to continue it next week. This is a very interesting story. We have much more to dissect and unpack. Because I always find it strange that like Austin and Tasha always like appeared the least out of the main three. That was very interesting. Yeah, so let me know if you want to hear more of oh, some interesting fun theories about the backyard events and like any other TV show that you want to hear. Bye guys.